All right, welcome to my Summit Seeker EV gameplay and review. So first of all, shout out to my friend Toon Miausos fan. He just gifted this to me. Absolutely incredible. I appreciate you so much. Again, thank you. All right, so first of all, here she is in the item shop. So she's 1200 for the skin, her back bling, and then the Lego version. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Lego version. It looks completely different, and I'm not sure why they did that color scheme for her jacket. So you can clearly see it's this silvery white and then the baby blue but in the lego it's like this nasty tan cream color and the light blue so i don't know why they did that so 1200 for that and then if you want the pickaxes they are sold separately for 500 so that's a grand total of 1700 so this of course is not our first look at the eevee skin she was a battle pass skin as well so as such let's compare these two Obviously, she's an item shop skin compared to a battle pass skin from Chapter 3 Season 3, so the original Eevee is going to be way better, that's for sure. But just in case you forgot what Eevee looks like, she had a ton of styles. Her default was this awesome red and white, and then she had the Syndicate, which was this black dress, very poofy, and then the neon version, which I thought was pretty sweet, but I didn't see a lot of people run that style. And then lastly, a lot of people did this one, the Summer Strider. So it was the opposite of the red default. It was blue. So that's what the Battle Pass Eevee had to offer. This new one is a winter version, clearly. And a lot of people thought it would be part of Winterfest 2023. But unfortunately, she didn't come out until right now. So I don't know what the holdup was, but I think she was worth the wait. I love that they changed her hair color to this beach blonde. She's got the red snowboarding goggles on. She still maintains a little bit of the blue on her shirt there. A lot of white on this skin, a little bit of red. So you get more red on the back bling, but it looks like maybe the underside of her shoes are red. We'll see when we glide in. But I am in love with that blue color. It's so amazing. Obviously, her back bling fits the winter theme. Very cool. It's a snowboard right there. Her original back bling, I think that still fits. You got the blue and the red. Looks pretty good. For pickaxes, I really enjoy these. They're literally pickaxes you would use to scale the mountains. And if you forgot what her original ones looked like, they were kind of long, but you could also change the color scheme to a neon. So that was kind of cool, I guess. Now, unfortunately, she's never had a glider. And normally I would try to match the white and blue, but I think any of the snowmano boards will fit nicely. Now for a wrap, I think I'm gonna use the balance of two. So that's her original wrap. I just wanna see what it looks like in game. Of course, one side is that baby blue. The other side is that blood red. So we'll try that out. All right, here we go. Here's the snow mando board. Okay, so I forgot you showcased the bottom of it with the little kickflip there. So that's not bad. And it is the appropriate color scheme. And of course you got the snow coming in. So I think this fits. I think this is a nice combo. Uh, I think you could also use the first version of the board as well though. And it looks like the soles of her feet are a red color. So there's not much red on the skin, but it's still not bad. Well, shoot, I accidentally left the original pickaxes on. So I guess when I take the back bling off, I'll swap to the real pickaxes. So I apologize for that. So the back bling looks pretty good. Well, here's what the OG pickaxes look like. They are huge. I don't remember them being this big. Holy smokes, they take up the whole screen when you swing them. I guess if you like these, they still go with it, but definitely not my cup of tea here. They're huge. So a very clean aim down sights. You can see a little bit of the back bling, but that doesn't bother me too much. You can clearly see over the top and the top left of her, which is actually pretty sweet. Now for the wrap, luckily the baby blue is on the right side. So that's primarily what we see. The only way to see the red side is when you run. So that works quite nicely. I like that. Her jacket is not as puffy as I thought it would be. So this is a pretty all around solid skin. Let's take a look from the front. I don't see anything animated or glowing. Let's see if anything does glow in the dark though. Let's check it out here. Ooh, that's surprising. I didn't, hold on. Let me see those. Yeah, you couldn't even see that those glow down there. A nice touch though. Let's see if anything glows from the front. No, okay, so let me take the back bling off and I'll swap to the actual pickaxe. Okay, so here she is without the back bling. You can see she has that X on the back. You couldn't see that before. The aim down sights is a little more clean now. You can see actually to the bottom left, whereas before you couldn't. You could only see above and to the top left. So that offers a little more perspective when you're shooting. Here's the pickaxes. They have a nice pullout sound. 
So you do have a barely visible blue and red contrail, depending on which one you swing. So these obviously are a lot smaller than what the original Eevee pickaxes were. That's great. Let's check out the splash. So it's blue from one and red from the other. I love that. And that's such a clean red too. Look at that. Beautiful pickaxes. Let's see how they look in the dark. You can clearly see the contrails. That's pretty smooth. I love that they change colors like that. That is so cool. All right, let's check for any secret reactivity and I'll show off a little bit of gameplay as well. Okay, so first of all, hey, Eevee. Let's test our pickaxes versus a real player. Oh, she's swinging back. How about versus Goku? Okay, so same splash effect. Doesn't look like anything special for the sound effect either. Oh, okay, look at me. Ta-da! Okay, so of course we gotta check this out in the snowy region. This area tends to glitch your glider sometimes, so gotta be careful. Oh yeah, right there, right there, right there. I got smushed out. Look at that. I got smushed all the way down. Okay, well that just messed everything up. And someone's landing right there too. Oh no. Oh, he tried to shoot me. No, no, no. Alright, I guess we're going all the way down. And get a good glimpse of the glider in action. It's just a solid looking skin. I love this. The wrap looks really clean. I think I love this skin. That red and blue just goes so nicely together. And of course, the splash on the pickaxe, the contrail on the pickaxe. Everything looks quite incredible. All right, let's see if we can get an elimination and we'll see if there's any secret reactivity. Wait for me out here. Yes! Not today, buddy! Not today! Okay, that guy deserved the L. He waited for me outside the cavern. Then he sniped me three times and he still lost. Holy smokes. I'm not normally toxic, but man, that guy deserved an L. So with all that excitement there, I didn't even see if there was any reactivity. So I'm going to have to get one more elimination. I can't believe that guy. He waited for me the whole time I was in that cave. I didn't see any reactivity there. Who is that guy shooting at? Oh. Two of them down. Nope, doesn't look like any reactivity. So there you go, an amazing Eevee skin. I absolutely love it. I don't think it's better than the original because that one had way more styles, but this is as good as it gets if you missed out on that one. Now, I would absolutely recommend these pickaxes. Number one, they're better than the original, and number two, they go great with this skin. So there you go, a solid new skin, finally. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.